Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Kalash, or whatever you're like after you today. It's probably the best Town Hall 10 defensive base layout you can have for trophy pushing or in clan wars or anything like that. This is the basis the number one players in the world use, and they win multiple defenses with. I went and looked up on their accounts how they're winning 20 then or 15 to 20 defenses and this was the base almost all of them were using so i went and tested it out see if it was literally the best base and i'm not even a max base guy let me let me get that straight first so this guy's coming in with some level 30 heroes man that's that's insane he's coming out my base trying to take it on with some giants farming because i do have quite a bit of loot and he's got all of his spells so this dude's dropping down all the spells he's got extra wizards in the clan castle but luckily, I had a dragon in my CC that would take him out. It was only level 4, it wasn't a max one, but hey, it'll do. It'll do. So roughly, he's at 39% right now. He's trying to get the percentage up. He's going to give me that shield at 40%. Queens dies in the center from the single target Inferno, and he's pretty much dead. Nothing left to get of this base. He's just got a lonely archer. Where's that archer at? What's well, right down the wall? So the archer's on the wall banging at it, and literally he's gonna let that bang for like another minute. And he's got some clean up minions, and he's gonna drop. You notice some arch towers actually upgrading at the moment, which it actually finished upgrading fairly soon. So, I mean, <laughs> this was this was the first good defense, guys. This guy's got nothing on me. He's gonna give me 28 plus trophy. Next attack going in, we got more giants, but we got Pekkas and healers, including this one. A few wizards, and this is, queen is level 20. 829 uh, we'll say well cl close to 30 man these are things people are coming at with some high heroes guys my base is not developed i don't have those level two inferno towers yet which i'm actually hoping to get here very soon i've got some my like, gold saved up I'm actually gonna get that last night bow. and now i got a golem in the cc guys so we're gonna see how, how all this plays out this dude's coming out with me with a lot of giants a lot of goblins he's coming after me from my loot Literally, no one went for my Dark Elixir side. I think I had a lot of Dark Elixir to offer, but people wanted that more gold and stuff. So, free spell going down on that Inferno Tower. Pekka's in the center. My Max Tesla's going ham on those Max Pekka's, and they're going to die out. This dude's only at 21, 21%, and he's not getting much more, guys. Rage spell going down on the Queen. She actually might be able to get in there and get the Town Hall. She's going to take out that Inferno Tower. Can she clutch the town hall? Oh no, she goes for the gold like a money horror queen does. Now she's on the town hall, but it's a little too late. x y locks in on her, and this person's only at 27%. So luckily he did have some cleanup archers to come in and take that last gold storage, which I was a little upset about, but then again, I did this with science. I did this. Science! Right? That's what we all like to see here about. So this dude's going in, I mean, nothing left at 31%, and he didn't even give me a shield, so I had to go reload everything. So, he's gonna send out last barbarians thinking that's gonna give him 20 plus percent, and he's gonna give me 26 trophies. So moving on to the next defense, this dude actually came the closest, and he had the lowest heroes. He's coming at me with a lot, a lot of giants. Also, you're gonna see heal spells being dropped next to Infernos, and this, I'm not saying he's a new player, because he did come the close out of everyone, and it was actually really, really close, but I wouldn't use heal spells in, uh, <laughs> in this type of raid with Infernos. So he's going in, guys, I might actually change that single target to multi in target, but then again, I do like it. So we have another golem in the clan castle. I think it would've been better if I had a dragon in this one, he wouldn't've got any percentage at all, probably. So he's going in, guys. He's trying to come in, get my loot, go away. What's up, souffle? I'm straight. I'm a smooth off. I drop top. I'm a smooth off. Rat. So King's going into center. He's low on health. He's at the level 14 or 15 or 14 King. And he's going to go down from the Inferno Towers. Skeleton traps do pop up. Now, I knew my town hall was saved at this moment. But then he has a big group of uh, giants on the left hand side left hand side that's gonna go ahead and go through a lot of my defenses and possibly get into that one star 50 percent right so he's going in attack and dying out soon uh soon because my archer queen shooting at them luckily i had my other expo pointed down i would say put one of your expos down so they cover more range of the base because if you guys don't know that's the only bad perk about having two all your expos up less range and not able to attack air troops, of course. So he's at 48%. And the last building he's going to get is his barracks down here. And then he's going to try to move into that gold storage on the right-hand side. Nothing left. If he would have had a few minions, I had a lot of stuff at the top open for uh, the picking. And bam, just like that, that 
all those barbarians are down, and damn, that dude's gonna give me 18 trophies. A lot of cups, gays, cups made. So look at this, guys. This base is probably the best layout you can actually have for Town Hall 10. If you guys like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, guys. Peace.